booktube it's almost the end of october and i'm very proud to report that i have faithfully complied to my self-imposed book buying ban however since literature has taught us to be resourceful to always scrutinize and find the loopholes in things i thought and I've decided that I would stop buying books for myself and buy books for my friends. Quick backstory. Um, it's pretty ironic, actually, and I've been mulling this over in my head for the last couple of weeks. Um, I have two close girlfriends, my two bestest friends in the world. Um, their names are Cherry and Ira. And over the course of our friendship, and we've known each other for almost two decades now, they've constantly been pampering me with books as birthday presents, since they are very much aware how much of a bookworm I am and how much books make me happy. And they're right. Uh, books are really the way to my heart. But I've never really bought them books. I've never really re reciprocated that effort because uh, I know that the two of them are not heavy readers as much as I am and I'm not really in the business of, uh, you know, shoving my interest down people's throats, especially if I don't know they're not really into it. The, the three of us constantly talk about uh, shows that we love, movies series, dramas, um, anime, um, we constantly talk about those things, but no matter how many books I read, I don't really talk about it with them because, uh, I don't know, I just know that they're not really much into books. The two of them are more of the artist types, uh, they're into art and drawing, uh, the two of them are really creative. Me, on the other hand, is the one who's a nerd for literature. Um, I'm into reading and writing. So I thought, why not buy them books this time around? So <laughs> I thought I would select books based on my understanding of them and based on what I assume about the, the two of them. These are actually books that I haven't read yet. None of these titles are books that I've read uh, by myself. So I'm actually recommending this blindly to them. Good luck. But uh, I still hope they really enjoy this because um, I have chosen this solely because um, I just really want to, I just really want to give them this book, so. Why don't we start with the, uh, the most traditional purchase that I've made uh, in this mini haul. Um, this is something that I will be giving to Cherry. Another quick backstory. Um, I, this actually has been brewing inside my head uh, as early as July, which was Iris' birthday. Um, I've given her uh, a used copy, a pre-loved copy of one of my favorite books of all time because uh, she has recently talked about, you know, attempting to write again um, and I thought that it's going to be a book that might possibly help her because that book has been very influential uh, and inspiring to me uh, as far as my own writing pursuits are concerned. That book is A Northern Light by Jennifer Donnelly. Uh, it's this book, to be exact. Um, this has influenced me so much that it has become an autobuy for me. Every time I see this book on book sale, anywhere that I spot it, I immediately have the urge to get my hands on it, purchase it, and take it home. That's how important this book is to me um 
I have the US edition and the UK uh, edition. I don't know why it has a different title as well. I haven't heard of any books that actually have um, two different titles, US and the UK. But uh, yeah, I have two editions of it. I, I think I have purchased this book like five or six times uh, in my life. I had several opportunities uh, to book swap with, with people across the country. I joined a book online exchange gift once. Every time I have the opportunity, I would send them this book. That's how loud I was about it. But surprisingly, I've never really recommended it to my friends because I, I know very well that they're not into reading. So this purchase uh, I made for Cherry is out of my uh, regard for her profession. Um, I hope this is something that she can relate to, something she would find uh, empowering. Let's go ahead and open it. Um, Some Days You Can't Save Them All by R Ronnie Batikulon. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, I've ordered this from the University of the Philippines Press. There's even um, a sales invoice that came along with it. But uh, yeah, I ordered this from the University of the Philippines Press. And I bought this because Cherry is a frontliner. Um, she's a nurse. Um, and I... The title alone has already spoken to me, and I'm not even in the medical field. So, uh, the blurb at the back is even more powerful, and I really hope that this is something that she can find comfort in. Um, I, but since I know that her job is really has tremendous expectations, and you know, I, I've seen her uh, gone through so much challenges uh, in that field. But she's been very triumphant in uh, in her role, in, in her tasks. She's been very resilient. And I think she's a great nurse. And I, I hope by buying this, she would understand how much respect uh, I have for her job and her profession. So, yeah. All right, off we go to the second package. Uh, this is my second gift to Cherry. This is actually the book that prompted all of these purchases, the one that really spurred my idea on. Because the moment I saw the cover of this book, I immediately thought of her. So, I haven't read this, but uh, this is actually something I would also consider buying for myself. But I think uh, I first would like to recommend it to her, and then she could tell me if it's a good read. So. Sagala by Tori Tagiar. Um, it's a Filipino graphic novel. This looks really pretty. And it came along with bookmarks. Um, cute! Came along with bookmarks. But anyway, yes. This is the, uh, the complete edition. I, I guess they compiled the volumes. 
I believe these are four volumes uh, compiled into one edition. I bought this because this art, this cover art, immediately made me remember um, Cherry's drawing. This is how she draws. This is very uh, close to the way that she draws. Um, I remember during our middle school years, she used to draw a lot of anime characters. And this is very close to that. It's felt very nostalgic and immediately I thought I should get this for Cherry. Bullets, Betrayals, and Bells of the Ball. This is very intriguing. Like I said, this is something I also really want to buy for myself. So I hope she enjoys it. Okay, so this package is for Ira. Um, this is actually a very easy choice to make. Um, I've deliberately looked for a copy of this book for her because she's been talking nonstop uh, about this. So part of me thinks she would really enjoy this. I hope so. But uh, I'm very excited to, to give her this just to see her reaction. volume 10 uh, <laughs> the three of us have been really obsessed with Haikyuu uh, I'm actually at fault here because I'm the one who recommended it to them and Ira ended up really loving it um, she has particularly chosen this as her bias Chukishima so I bought this purely out of indulging her crush on Chokishima. This is from Fully Book. Um, it came with a bookmark as well, so I also think I'm gonna give this to her. It says, What I say is a town isn't a town without a bookstore. It may call itself a town, but unless it's got a bookstore, it knows it's not full in a soul. By Dale Gaiman! Oh my goodness. I want this for myself though. But anyway, yeah. Um, I hope... Ira also loves this. Um, I think this is an early, during the early seasons uh, in the anime, so she probably already knows everything that took place in here, but nevertheless, I hope she still enjoys it. All right, um, last, uh, last package that we're gonna open. Uh, this is also for Ira. Um, so if you've noticed the trend that I uh, all those that I have unboxed so far, um, they are all really graphic novels because I thought that that's where our interests overlap with each other. They like art, I like books, so I thought I would compromise and give them graphic novels. Right? Is that smart or what? <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is also a Filipino graphic novel. See how I'm still supporting Filipino literature? Yes promote Filipino literature at all costs. Um, I bought this from Comiket Inc. That's the name of the shoppy store. They mostly sell Filipino graphic novels and comics. Um, I'm gonna put the links down below of all the stores that I have purchased this books from. Go ahead and check them out. <laughs>
noodle boy. Um, this is also a graphic novel, like I said. Uh, I think this is more uh, romance-centered. It's a love story, I think. Um, I bought this for Ira because she's also into ramen nowadays. And I thought, I don't know, she'll probably enjoy this. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's all about. I just thought it, it's going to be a fun selection to choose for her. Um, nowadays, she's not really much into complicated stuff. She just really wants uh, light content, uh, happy content. So I thought this would be a good read that hopefully she'll have fun with. Oh, there's a cat as well. And she likes cats too. The two of them like cats, so <laughs> it's so interesting. Let's hope she likes it. So these are the titles that I have selected for my friends Cherry and Ira, and I really hope that they love these. Um, uh, as you can see, these are mostly graphic novels. It's meeting them halfway, you know, um, since. They're not really much into text. I, I hope they enjoy this for good measure. I am also adding in Sandali uh, for Cherry since uh, by now I would be giving a total of three books already to Ira. So I'll add this in for her since I read this this month and this really blew me away. And I hope she likes this too. Um, this is uh, something that I've already made a review uh, a few weeks ago. You can also check it if you want. But, uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very excited to, uh, to give them this. I'm gonna go ahead and gift wrap them now. This is also the first time I'm gonna be wrapping gifts by myself. I'm, like I said, I'm not good with creative stuff. The two of them are the ones who are very good at it, but let's hope I pull it off. So excited. So... Oh my god, I love Echo Books. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah. oh. oh. What is that? Is that? Oh! 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 It's a Filipino graphic novel. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. I love how you the other one too. To Oh, I don't know. 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 I don't know.
I bought it kasi parang katulad ng drawing mo, ng ah! art mo. So, okay. wow. I tried to make habol, but you only told me who your bias was on your birthday. Okay lang yan. I couldn't. Sabi ko, ah, sabi ko. Bias? Una sa lahat. <laughs> Oy, ano to? Forever ko bias. Okay. Forever. Hindi ko pinalitan ever. Sinabi mo lang ng birthday mo. Oh, Tapos. Oh, patingin nga nung ano, tos, manga. Yes. Pero cute. Volume 10. Volume 10. Okay. So, so alam niya na lahat na nangyari dun sa manga na yun. Wala na siyang mabasang bago. Oo, oh, talaga? Oo, oh, kasi diba? Tapos na lahat. Ah, ito. Bakit yung pito? Oo. O, pa- para ata sige, sa sige, ba- so, sige, basahin mo yan. That though, that is not a graphic novel. Ano kasi, kaya tatlo binigay ko sa'yo. Kasi binigay na kita ng isang uh-huh. text na book. That is also a textbook. So, I know you're not fond of that, pero look, look at the, okay. the back. Okay. Look at the brighter side. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Para tigdalawa kayong graphic novels and one textbook. textbook. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Kasi ang... Ang... Ang related sa... Hmm. Related. Medical. LR. Medical. <laughs> <laughs> May go to first. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> Thank you! Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you! Happy birthday, everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, everyone! So, do you have bookish friends in real life? Have you... Uh, have you bought them books for fun? Or if you don't have bookish friends, what kind of books would you give to your friends? Uh, if you have the... Uh, the opportunity to do so. Happy October, guys!